Hello, my lovely people. Welcome back to my channel. So today I am back with my top 10 fragrances that I think are worth all of the hype that they get. I have them right in front of me. These scents you will hear over and over again on many videos how much people love them. Not just fragrance reviewers, but people who love fragrances. I've seen them on makeup channels, lifestyle channels, you name it. You will hear constantly about these fragrances. And most of these are top sellers. And so I'm gonna go through them very, very quickly. Well, I will try to go quickly with these and just tell you guys why I think they are worth all of the hype that they get. Um, so yeah, if you guys are excited for this video, then definitely stay tuned. You know what to do right now, okay? Hit the subscribe button, go ahead. I know you came back for more. So instead of just watching, support your girl by hitting the subscribe button, leave a comment down below so I can welcome you to our beautiful YouTube family because we are amazing. I went through my entire collection and it looks like I have quite a lot of fragrances that are very very hyped but these ones I think are the most that stood out to me. Let's get into it but don't forget to leave me a comment. Let me know what is your most hyped up fragrance that you love. Comment down below and let me know. I love all of them. Do I have my favorites? Absolutely but I love all of them and I wear all of them so I'm gonna start off with the banger. This one was released I believe last year very hard to find for some reason. Here in Canada, I did not see it at any retail stores. This is La Belle from Jean-Paul Gaultier. And this bottle I absolutely love. I think it's so pretty the way they designed this bottle. You know, he's known for this like silhouette type of style, but I love this rose necklace that she has on her neck. Now this is a vanilla, fruity fragrance. It's sweet. It is a little woody in the background, a tiny bit powdery, but not overwhelming. It's very, very sweet and very warm on my skin. And it works really well for the winter time. Also, did I just take this off? What the, I thought I took the cap off. <laughs> so when you look up the notes for this fragrance, there are only three notes listed and I have them right here in front of me. Uh, pear, vet fur, and vanilla. Now I did hear from another reviewer, I can't remember the channel, but if I do remember, I will link it down below, that it was said that the new thing that certain uh, perfume companies are doing is listing very simple notes because they believe that us consumers can't handle all the complexity of notes that go into fragrances. Um, so yeah, that's why there's only three notes listed. But when you smell this, I definitely get more than three notes. Now this, when it came out, oh, it was super hyped. The opening is like a fruit cocktail, like Jolly Rancher. That's what it smells to me. The pear is nice and juicy, but it definitely dries down to a more warm, sensual scent. It is that very like, bright sweetness in the opening. 100% this is like a crowd pleaser when you smell it, but the dry down lets this warm up on your skin so nicely and the the vanilla really starts to break through in the dry down and it just, ugh, it smells like a very addictive fragrance to wear very feminine, like ultra feminine. You can pull this off during the day or evening. It really doesn't have a time, but it's still very sensual and sweet. So maybe there is a place for this one. I love it. I've put a dent in it, as you guys can see right there. Again, so hard to find. I don't know why. And I think that's a part of the hype. It was so hard to get your hands on this one. If you're contemplating, get it. It's sweet. It's flirty, it's a little sensual, vanilla dreams, definitely get it. So on to the next one that is extremely, extremely hyped, even though this has been around since 2017. Um, it got quite a bit of buzz in the last two years, I wanna say. This is from Parfums de Marley, and this is Delina. My love, my introduction to niche houses was Delina and I kind of never looked back because I absolutely fell in love with this scent. To me, Delina is just like, it's everything. Honestly, it smells, oh my God. Every single time I smell this, I cannot get enough. This is the scent that will get people's attention. It will get questions. This is your oh, beautiful rose fragrance. 
It's a little like tarty and like spicy in the dry down and in the opening to be quite honest. And I love the tartiness of this fragrance. I think that's what makes it so special and so unique. I know some people can't really uh, take it. Um, there is a, I believe, incense in this one and it does create this very like beautiful scent. It's really hard to describe, Delina. I just think it smells like the most pretty feminine woman very well put together she's super polite she's super gentle with her words this is a gorgeous bridal scent it just when i close my eyes and i smell delina i just think of the word beautiful every single time i wear this i get compliments not just by my husband but by strangers literally stopping me in the mall to ask me what fragrance i'm wearing Delina has that effect. Oh, let's talk about some of these notes. We have lychee and rhubarb. That's where you get like that tartiness, that, that punch in Delina. And that is right in the opening. Bergamot, nutmeg. I love nutmeg in my fragrances. It's so beautiful. And then the middle notes consist of some roses. We have some Turkish rose, peony, patilia, uh, musk, and vanilla. And then in the dry down, there's cashmere on, cedar, Haitian pepper, and incense. Oh gosh, this is a unique scent. It doesn't matter if there are dupes out there, there are scents that are very similar. Nothing touches the original Delina in my opinion and it's worth every single penny. Should I jump that fence? Jump it girl. Okay, go all the way to the back, run and jump it because it is so beautiful. I absolutely adore this. Well, the next one is definitely a heavy hitter fragrance. I will say that this one is definitely not for everyone. Is it completely hyped up? Absolutely. Is it worth the hype? Definitely. We are talking about Maison Lancome Oud Bouquet. I mean, come on. Last year, I heard so many people talking about Oud Bouquet, Oud Bouquet. And when I finally got my hands on it, I completely understood why? So Oud Bouquet is a very, very beast mode fragrance. It is in your face. You cannot hide this fragrance whatsoever. It's a very warm, sweet, oudy scent. It's spicy. It's nutty. And it can like, it can be a little bit coiling if you're not careful. So this one is one of those fragrances, a little tiny bit goes a very long way. Otherwise you're going to be like, oh, I can't take it anymore. That's me personally. So Oud Bouquet is your beast mode fragrance. It is in your face. You can't deny this scent. It is literally going to take over your entire vibe. This one over here. And it's just a scent that is, it's really strong. Like I don't need to spray it. I'm just holding it here and I'm like, oh, this is a sweet, very sweet oudy scent. The oud in here is not a dirty oud in my opinion. It is still quite potent, but it's not dirty. Um, it smells very syrupy, very thick, and it definitely has that like Middle Eastern vibe in my opinion. Um, there's definitely a big kick of vanilla in this scent. And I don't want to spray it because it's just going to take over my entire room, to be honest. But there's a big kick of vanilla. So if you love vanilla, if you like your very strong beast mode fragrances, this is definitely one you don't want to miss. So there only are five listed notes online. There is oud, praline, vanilla, rose, and saffron. So the, to me, when I smell this, I get mainly the vanilla, the praline, and the oud. The rose is in there, but I find the praline con concentration and the vanilla concentration are really up there and they're very high because you will get a huge dose of that. Again, sweet, very sweet. That's why I don't have a big dent in my bottle because I literally just do one spray. That's how potent this fragrance is, but it's definitely worth the hype because it is quite unique. Um, it's long lasting and it's just one of those that very, very distinct. Like you will remember and you will know who's wearing Oud Bouquet. It's very distinct. So we're gonna go to something completely different. This one is gentle, it's a classic, it's a lady, and I think it's absolutely stunning. And everyone needs this in their collection. Whether you are a fragrance collector or you just are in the market for a fragrance, I think this is a scent that a lot love, okay? This is Mon Guerlain from Guerlain, and this is just a beautiful lavender powdery lady-like 
scent. It's very enjoyable. It's very relaxing. It almost puts you at ease and in peace. I love spraying this right out of the shower when I'm just going to sit down and relax and have a nice cup of tea. I'm going to read a book. I'm going to watch a show. I love this scent for those moments. It's also a really stunning signature scent um, for sure. This is really hyped and it is Guerlain's one of their best top sellers for a reason. It's just one of those scents that when you smell, um, instantly you have that uh, kind of moment. You know what I mean? It just it just smells so good. Definitely lavender is very predominant in this scent, so you have to love that note, or at least like it, because you will get a huge dose of that. But I think everything just intertwines really nicely and creates this very elegant, suave, ladylike scent. Some may say this is a bit mature in the dry down because it does have a little bit of this powdery touch, but honestly, even though I do consider this a little bit more on the mature side, it's a very sophisticated mature that many age groups can wear comfortably and it just smells good. Like it smells good. It's casual, but like casual on another level. And I, I love it. I love it. Sometimes I forget about it because like I have a huge collection and it's at the back, but then when I pull it out, I'm like, why, why haven't I worn this in so long? It's a beautiful, stunning fragrance. There is quite a few flankers, including the Intense, and I do have a review on that one, but for me, nothing touches the original. I absolutely adore it. Okay, guys, so this one over here is one of those scents that is not the safest blind buys. Um, you have to like your unique scents that develop on the skin. It is not linear and it's quite unusual when you first get it. Um, to me, this one is a scent that kind of warms up and then you start to kind of fall in love with it. This is how I describe it all the time and for all the right reasons. And if you guys have been on this channel, you probably are guessing which one it is. This is the classic Tom Ford Black Orchid. Ah. Uh, this has been talked a lot, a lot. Even though this scent is not for everyone, there are so many that love it and so many that hate it, but still talk about it. It is just in everyone's mouth. Black Orchid is your very um, warm, spicy, earthy type of scent. It's still a gourmand in the dry down, but in the opening, it's very different and very unusual. It's one of those, again, you got to love unique scents. It's not your, oh, crowd pleaser, girl, I'm here. It's a scent that can fit on a woman, but also can fit on a man. And there's a lot of elements to this scent. And when I look up the notes, there are a ton of notes in this fragrance. And I think the main note that kind of gives it this unusual touch is the truffle. Truffle is a very um, strong ingredient that can overpower a lot, okay? Even when you're cooking with it, it can overpower your food. And so in a fragrance, it's definitely there. And there aren't many fragrances with truffle in it. That's what makes Black Orchid absolutely different and because this one is bombarded with so many notes from the top middle and base it's a one of a kind it is one that really does this roller coaster ride on your skin but the the dry down is actually pretty amazing so in the in the top notes just to name a few we have the truffle right there that's why the opening is so kind of pungent and like unusual. We have bergamot, we have lemon, jasmine, ylang ylang. In the middle notes we have orchid, okay? We have some spices in there too. There's gardenia. Ylang ylang is there again and some fruity notes. Base notes, that's where the gourmand touch comes in. We have some chocolate in there, some vanilla, incense, amber, sandalwood. It's a lot. It is a whole lot to smell. Yeah, the opening, you definitely get that truffle and you you instantly almost get the incense even though the incense is where? In the base, I can pick up on that quite quickly. It's a dark, heavy hitter fragrance, but I mean, if you love your unique scents, ones that not everyone is going to wear, ones that um, really exudes confidence, this is the one for you. 
So keeping with the classics, we're gonna take it to Alien from Mugler. One of my favorite designer fragrance houses is Mugler. I have a ton of their fragrances because he really steps out of the box when he creates his scents. And I love that they don't release fragrances every month. They are very particular with the ones that are released. And that's what makes it so special. Alien has been around since, let me see, this was launched in 2004. Five guys and it has been well loved and well talked about by many including myself now I will say that aliens sometimes when you first get a sniff of it you won't fall in love right away you might be like mm. but over time it's gonna captivate you it is a very sensual jasmine amber scent it's warm it's sexy it's inviting it's alluring it is so beautiful Oh, is a signature scent right here. This is a sexy lady. This is a fragrance that I can wear every single day and I'm gonna feel so sensual and confident. Uh, it's beautiful in the evening and in the winter time. I think it just warms up to the skin so nicely. It's one that leaves a gorgeous trail. Now, there are talks that this was reformulated because the lasting ability isn't like it used to be. I still love this one and I think it is absolutely stunning. Like if you love jasmine and warm scents, do not miss out on this one. You will absolutely love it. Date night fragrance, 100%. It's up there on my list. Okay, so the next one that I have is really, really, really talked about. You see it all the time on Instagram images, flat lays. You see it all the time in Pinterest because the bottles are just so Instagrammable and they're just aesthetically pleasing. But the scent itself is really, really popular. I know a ton of people that love the scent and it's coming out because it's winter time right now everyone is talking about this one all over again this is Maison Margiela's replica line by the fireplace who has not heard of this fragrance who has not wanted to put their nose on this fragrance I personally was craving this fragrance for the longest time and then finally I got my hands on it and I was like oh I totally understand the hype on this one this is just gorgeous and it really will remind you of sitting by the fireplace having roasted marshmallows you have your hot cocoa right beside you or even a cup of coffee with a splash of cream in there you're cozy you have a really nice warm knitted blanket or a nice warm knitted sweater everything is good maybe you're outside camping and the stars is just in the sky or in your home in front of the fireplace it smells so good Guys, this is a fragrance that opens up very smoky and very woody, so it can scare you. I always remind you guys of that. The opening is not gonna be the dry down. This one dries down to a more soft, uh, marshmallowy, sweet vibe. The smokiness and the woodiness is still there throughout the day, but it's not as pungent as in the opening, and I think it's just a gorgeous scent that, like, right now, it's snowing outside. I put this on, I'm in my living room by the fireplace, and I'm like, Mm, perfection. This is also very, very warm. It has a little bit of spice in there also. I believe there is amber in the notes. So just looking at the notes, the opening is spicy. We got the pink pepper. We have the clove orange blossom. Middle notes, we have chestnut. I mean, cozy chestnut, goyak wood and juniper. And then the base notes, we have the vanilla, the balsam and the cashmere on. It is just perfection. I totally understand why people hype this up. I love it for winter time. I wear it all the time. And a lot of the fragrances from the replica line are just stunning. They really do evoke a memory. As soon as you smell the fragrances and read the label here and the description of the scent, it literally takes you to that place. It's kind of crazy how they do that, but they do it perfectly so we're going to take it back again to another great classic fragrance that i hear so many talk about from like 20s to your 40s there's so many that love this fragrance and when i first got my hand on it at first i was like mm, is this a little bit too like juvenile for me it's a little too mm, i don't know but I went back and grabbed it because I really did enjoy the way that it sat on the skin. This is Dior Poison Girl. Oh, it's so good. Out of all of like the Poison line, Poison Girl is definitely my favorite. Out of all the ones that I'm talking about, this is probably the most sexiest like sweet scent. Oh yeah. Oh my God. It is like 
sweet vanilla, spicy goodness. Like it's so, so good, this one. Yeah, it's a really like warm, spicy scent. It's beautiful. I really do love the bottle. I really, really do like the bottle a lot. And I think this is beautiful. This is the um, EDP. That's the one that I have. There are quite a few notes in this fragrance. The top and the middles are okay for me, but it's the base. The base is what's gonna get you. The base is gonna bring all the boys to the yard. Um, in the base, we have vanilla, almond, tonka bean, uh, balsam, sandalwood, heliotrope, and cashmere. Like the mixture of all of that just creates the most warm, spicy, sweet, sexy scent. And this is a gorgeous date night fragrance. Like actually my husband, loves this one so much especially when I'm dressed in all black red lipstick honey she comes out to play and it just smells really, really we are on the very 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 last extremely hyped up fragrance okay this is all over YouTube it's becoming all over Instagram I see it all the time now this is Maison Francis Kirk de Jean Baccarat Rouge 540. This scent right here, I mean, the hype is real. The hype is real. And if anyone is saying that it's not real, I don't know. I love this scent, guys. It is in my top 10 for life. It is a salty, sweet scent. It's very unique, but yet very wearable. It's lavish to me it smells quite expensive long lasting great sillage compliment getter it's honestly a scent that's very hard to describe because it's one of those that is not polarizing it is different on everyone some people pick up the very sweet marshmallow note some people pick up the salty vibe it just works really different on everyone so you've got to try this on the skin um, get yourself a sample from the website. It is about $20, if I'm not wrong, for four samples. Um, I will link it down below before you actually make the splurge because it is very expensive. I'm not going to lie. And I bought this with my own money. It was not sent to me. But hey, the people at uh, MFK, if, if, if you want to add me to the PR list, just send me an email, okay? <laughs> It smells incredible. I love that I have it in my collection. I think it's just one of a kind. The, the same way that I think Delina is one of a kind, this one is one of a kind because it just works on the skin so uniquely. And I think everything just blends together. Like when I look at the main of Pores on Fragrantica, we have a little bit of everything. We have the woody, amber, warm, spicy, fresh, spicy, aromatic, fresh, and uh, animalic. It's just all there because you really can pinpoint everything. And even in the notes, we have the saffron, the jasmine, uh, amber wood, ambergris. We have cedar. But when I smell it, I'm not getting all of that. I don't know. I cannot tell you, oh, I'm picking up this particular note because it just smells like a feeling to me. And if I'm like at a party, I am imagining myself wearing again, something neutral, maybe white, maybe off white. Um, the hair is loose again. It's not too uptight. She is a little bit talkative. We got the heels going on also. The makeup is very neutral, but you know, that soft glam kind of look, that's what I'm going with. Yeah, it's just, it's a feeling. Here we are. We are done with the extremely hyped up fragrance video. If you guys enjoyed it and want a part two, definitely let me know because I have a ton of fragrances that are super hyped up that I think are worth all of the hype and there are fragrances that I think are not worth any hype but hey that's that's a different story we're all about positivity but I hope you guys enjoyed this video again leave your comments down below I can't wait to chat with y'all in the comments section let me know which one you think is worth the hype and which one you you don't think is worth the hype I mean I'm all about giving your opinion respectfully so leave a comment down below give this video a thumbs up and share it with all the perfume lovers in the world and I will see you all in the next one. Ciao!